Hi, hello, and welcome back to the Uplift Healthy Lifestyle 7 Day Self Love Challenge. Today we are on day 5, focusing on being kind to ourselves. So if you're just joining in on day five here, you can always go back to the previous days. All the links are in the notes below or through the playlist on YouTube. Uh, and then to get the workbook, the link is also below. The workbook has all kinds of nice prompts themed for each day of what we're working through. Today, being kind to yourself. The workbook has prompts for uh, changing your self-talk. Uh, it's a fun activity that I put in there for you. The focus for our yoga today is to help open a heart and open up into the throat. So we're opening the heart to create space for those uh, positive feelings about ourselves. And then that positive feeling moves up into the throat so that we can talk nicer to ourselves. So the feelings of kindness, the talk of kindness helps us to be more kind to ourselves. So uh, working through opening up into the heart and throat today, we've got some back bends. Uh, be mindful of the back and how you feel. If it's too much, take a break, find a resting pose, uh, and you can either come back to it or skip it. For props today, you'll want to have a couple of blocks and uh, a blanket, so it could be a towel or anything you can roll up. The blocks could also be books or something of that nature, um, just to help raise the floor up if you need the extra support. All right, let's get started. Seated here in a nice comfortable position. And let's just begin by softening or closing the eyes and focusing on our breath. Focusing on that mind-body-breath connection. Now increase your inhales to a count of four or five. Match the exhales to that same count. Now you can stay as you are. I'm just going to cue us through a slight change in the breath. Um, ocean breathing or ujjayi breath. So as you continue to breathe in and out through the nose, you're actually going to feel a gentle constriction in the back of the throat. It's as if you were ah, fogging up a glass or a mirror. That sensation is what you'll feel, but your mouth is closed and you're just feeling that air moving out, feeling it and hearing it. So that Additional sensation helps to activate into the throat a little bit better, and it also helps to uh, stimulate our vagus nerve, which helps our sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. It actually helps more on the parasympathetic nervous system. But we're simply gentle ocean breathing so we can hear that breath moving through the body. Take one more breath here, just like that. And then we'll stay seated and start to move gently. Starting with a shoulder, a lateral shoulder stretch. So the left arm comes across the body, the right hand comes up behind that elbow and just gently pulls the arm across the body. Deep inhale. Full exhale. Again, deep inhale. Full exhale. Release that arm. Right arm crosses the body. Same thing on this side. Gentle pulling in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale and release. Let those shoulders come up into the ears. Deep inhale here 
and then exhale, press them down and away. Inhale up, exhale down. Now chin to chest, roll left ear to left shoulder. That right shoulder softens, that right hand can reach away. One more inhale. As you exhale, chin to chest, release the right arm. Right ear rolls to the right shoulder. The left arm reaches out to the side. Deep inhale. Full exhale. As you exhale, chin to chest, or left arm releases, and then pull the chin up. Take the hands behind the body. Clasp the hands, palms pressed together, and then reach the arms down. They might need to pull out away, depending on how long your arms are. Shoulders can roll up, back, and down. Chest is lifting up, head is lifting up. You can also get the floor out of your way if you're sitting on a block or something to just get your seat up a little higher. That can make a little more room for the arms to work their way down. Let's release here. Meet in a tabletop pose. Tabletop pose here, hands and knees. Let's loosen the spine with some gentle cat cows. Let the belly sink down, lift the gaze. As you exhale, round the back. Hands press down, tops of your feet press down as that belly button pulls up. Inhale, opening here. As you open, notice the, the sensation of openness through the heart and the throat. And then exhale as you round. Feel that sensation of it closing down. Notice the breath as you breathe there. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And then come back to neutral spine here. Hips stay stacked over the knees. Hands walk forward as we soften down into puppy pose or heart opening pose. The forehead softens to the mat. I always manage to get a pop or two in my upper back here. It just feels good. If it's not comfortable, simple child's pose is sufficient. Breathing here as you try to soften the body. One more deep inhale. As you exhale, the spot between the shoulders starts to lift up, round through the low back and ripple upwards, and then walk the hands back. It's a little easier to come out of that pose when you ripple upwards. All right, let's tuck the toes here. We're just gonna meet at the top of the mat standing. So you can just walk the feet forward, bend the knees, arms reach up, hands into the heart. Let's take the hands behind us here, hands on either side of the spine on that low back. Standing back bend, we're just gonna press the hips forward here, the shoulders roll up back and down, elbows reach towards each other as the chin and chest lift upwards. Breathing here. One more inhale. As you exhale, the back bend releases. The hands come behind the back, clasp the fingers together, palms stay pressed to each other. Hands walk down the back, chest lifts up, gaze lifts up, deep inhale. Full exhale, and then release. Sweep the arms up here. Bend the knees, hips slide back as we find chair pose. Toes may choose to touch and that's okay. We're gonna warm the core a little with some chair twists. So the palms together, elbow moves to the outside. So right elbow outside the left knee, those palms are pressing, the elbows reach away from each other. Now the belly pulls up as we twist over to the opposite side. And up, change, up, change. So we're warming through the core here. Try to keep the sit bones down. Let's find one more on each side, ending with that left elbow on the right knee. Release the twist, straighten the legs, soften down into a forward fold. 
hands to the shins here, lengthen through the spine, plant the hands, step to your plank pose, nice strong core there, come down knees, chin and chest, elbows, uh, shoulders roll up back and down, and deep inhale, find that baby cobra. Lower down, let's do one more of those. Inhale up, exhale down. Come through table into your downward facing dog. Lengthening through the spine here, the hands pressing away, sit bones lifting up. We'll fly that left leg, knee into the chest, and then step the foot down. Back knee comes all the way down as we set up for Anjane Asana. Press into the front foot, the arm sweep up. Maybe a slight back bend if it feels okay. Now bring the hands down, right hand plants, twisting through the torso so that left hand reaches behind that back heel. Your right heel lifts up as you flex the foot. Try to find that heel, foot, ankle, whatever works as we look for a quad stretch here. Breathing and slowly release. Taking this pose into a modified wild thing. So stay with me. We come up here. That right foot pivots behind us as we take the torso to face to the right. Right hand plants down as if through a modified plank pose and then open it behind you for a modified wild thing. And then sweep the arm down, that hip can sink, and then open it back up. So again, reaching behind you, finding expansion through the chest. Circle it down and reach, down and reach. Nice job. Now coming back up, and we'll pull that left leg to be alongside the right. We'll set up for some camel prep. Camel prep, just like our standing back bend, we're just on our knees. So the knees are about hip width apart here. The hands come on either side of the low back, uh, on either side of the spine on the low back, and the hips are pressing forward. The shoulders roll up, back, and down as they squeeze together, and those elbows pull together. Chest is lifting upwards, chin is lifting up if it feels okay on the neck. Breathing here. And release. We're gonna move through the other side of our flow and then we're gonna find another camel variation on the next pass through. So come into your tabletop here, maybe sway the hips from side to side, tuck those toes, find your downward facing dog. Nice job, maybe pedal the feet if that feels good, then lengthen the spine. When you're ready, fly that right leg. Knee pulls into the chest, step the foot down, left knee down to the mat, Anjane Asana as we sweep those arms up. Slight back bend here if you find it. Hands come through center, left hand plants. We twist through the torso as that right arm reaches behind you and then float that left foot up. Find the heel, the foot, the ankle, whatever works for you. That right knee should be stacking over the ankle. Looking for that quad stretch. Slowly release. Bring your torso up as we find that modified wild thing. Left foot starts to pivot behind you. Right sweeps out as that left hand plants down. Modified side plank, and then we open it up behind us. Sweep, little bend in the hip, and then open as we extend through the front of the body. Re uh, release and sweep, and open. One more time, down and open nice job now we press ourselves up bring the knees together another variation of camel pose dancing camel so i like to have blocks on either side of my ankles for this you can also have the toes flex so you can reach the heels or if your back feels good you can reach down to the feet on the floor 
So dancing camel, we did this also yesterday in day four of our challenge. We start with the left hand on the block, the right arm sweeps forward as those hips press forward and the chest lifts up. And then we sweep a little bend in the hips, take it over to the other side and change. We'll do one more on each side. So this one evens it out. Let's do the other set. Sweep the right arm and then over, sweep the left arm. Nice job. Blocks can move out of the way. Come back to your tabletop pose. Tuck the toes downward facing dog. Bend the knees here. Look at the hand. Step forward to fold. Release that torso down. Bend the knees here. Let's root to rise. Hands to the heart. All right. Nice job. We've got another version of this flow. Starting with that standing back bend. So my, heat, my feet are hip width apart. Hands on either side of the low back. Shoulders roll up, back and down. Elbows squeeze towards each other. Hips press forward, chest lifting up. Notice how this one feels compared to the last one. Exhale, release. Bring the hands behind the back for yoga mudra. Fist moves down the back side. The shoulders can roll up, back and down. Chest lifting. You can also change the clasp of the fingers. It might change the stretch a little. Chest and heart lifting up. And release. Sweep the arms up overhead. And then uh, slide it back into your chair pose. We've got five sets of the chair twist, starting with left elbow outside the right knee, and change, and change. Here's two, three, that belly is activating, it's pulling up. Here's four, and five. Back to center, straighten the legs and fold. Knees can stay bent if you need to. Hands to the shins, halfway lift. Plant the hand, step to your plank. Nice, strong plank pose. And then hips slide up and back. Downward facing dog. Nice work. Now from down dog, coming to a dolphin pose. So one elbow comes down to the mat and then the other, the palms or the forearms are parallel. We'll walk the feet a little closer towards our hands, towards our arms. And at the same time, the chest presses towards the thigh. So you're pressing into those forearms to press the chest backwards. So be mindful of the sensations. Be mindful of your neck. One more deep inhale here. And then press one hand back down and the other to come back into your downward facing dog. You might have to adjust your feet. Great work. Fly that left leg here. Knee pulls into the chest. Step it down. Setting up for warrior two here. Back heel drops. Arms open wide. So heel to arch alignment. Front knee stacked over the ankle. Arms wide here. Reverse warrior. Press that left arm up. The right arm reaching down. So opening up through the side of this heart space. Now stay with me here. This left arm stays up. We're going to pivot the back heel and close the hip and then sink that knee down. Toes can stay tucked. Right hand alongside the back of that thigh as we try to lean back here. See how it feels. If it doesn't feel good, come back to neutral. If it feels okay, you can keep leaning back. And then let's release that down. Ooh, that feels good. Take it down into your tabletop. So release, sway the hips from side to side. And then knees wide, toes together. Start to ease into a child's pose nice and slow. Deep inhale here. Full exhale. Then come up through tabletop. 
tuck those toes. We've got the other side. Press into the hands, sit bones lift, heels descend, and then fly that right leg. Knee into the chest, step it down. Warrior two, so back heel drops. Front knee over the ankle, the arms open wide here. That belly pulls in. Reverse warrior, press the right arm up. Left arm reaches down. Stay in this reverse warrior shape with the upper body. The back heel lifts up as we close this hip. Sink the knee down. Option to keep those toes tucked, left hand to that left thigh, and start to lean it back. Try to keep the right knee stacked over the ankle. And release. Come back to that tabletop and sway the hips side to side. Nice work. Knees wide, toes together. Sink those sit bones down. Slide the hands forward as you soften the forehead to the mat. Deep inhale. Full exhale. One more. Nice job. Let's come up to a tabletop here. Starting to wind down. We'll stay on the floor here for some stretches, some of our final stretches before a sh brief Shavasana. Threading the needle here. So we've done a lot of opening. We're gonna counter that through the shoulders. We're gonna start by pressing into our right hand. The left arm reaches up. Slide it under, that left shoulder comes down. Right hand reaches forward and the hips shift to the left. Deep inhale here. Full exhale. Once more. Slide that right hand back, press yourself up. That left arm may want to reach out before coming down. Press into the left hand, right arm reaches, then slide it under, shoulder down, head down. Left arm reaches and the hip shifting to the right. Deep inhale. Full exhale. And slide that left hand back. As you press up, that right arm may want to reach out and then release it down. All right, coming on to our backs now. So we're gonna set up that supported fish. So having your blanket or your towel rolled up like a taquito, so not too fat because we don't wanna create too much of a back bend here. We want a gentle uh, lifting up through the chest. So it's relatively flat. And you can always unroll it a, a time or two if you need to uh, make it even flatter. So it comes out to the side. It's perpendicular to the mat. As I lay down over this blanket, it's going to come out on either side of my armpits. So it's going to feel like it's right at or even a little above my bra strap, right? Right up and through this uh, upper section of the back. The arms can be outstretched here, soften the head down. If it feels like there's too much space, you can also put another blanket or a block or something of that nature underneath the neck here. You can bring the knees up or you can leave them extended, whatever feels good. We're just gonna be here for a few breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Take your awareness to the space in that heart center that's being created, this opening, the space that we made for these positive feelings. We made all this space. We'll be closing today's practice with some affirmations. So we'll be using the 
energy in the throat to speak kindly to ourselves after we've warmed up the heart. One more deep inhale here. Full exhale. Start to come up. Move gently. Move that blanket out of the way. Come back to lay flat on your back here. Notice the sensation as well. That back in a different connection to the mat than we just had. Supine twist, left leg extends, pull the right knee into the chest and then knee across the body as that right arm extends behind you. The twisting helping to counter some of those back bends. And release, right leg, ex or right leg extends, knee, mm, left knee pulls in left knee across the chest is that right arm oh boy as the left arm extends and release so now having your block or similar prop you could also do it with a blanket if you've got it folded up uh, thick enough placing the feet to the mat here Lift the hips just enough to slide your block or prop underneath. Make sure that that block is secure under that tailbone, that sacrum area, and then pull the knees up to the chest. When you're ready, let the feet float up to the sky. The hands across the belly, or maybe even one to the belly, one to the heart, or arms alongside the body, whatever feels good here. The legs are soft. Continue breathing. And let the knees softly come into the chest and then one foot down and the other. Lift the hips just enough to slide the block out. And our Shavasana today will be a constructive rest. So the knees are bent, the feet are wider than the hips and those knees fall in towards each other. So that just helps to release into the low back. So with all those bends that we did, this might be a nice release. Hands to the belly, one to the belly, one to the heart, or arms at your side. We'll stay here for five breaths. And we have one more breath here. You're welcome to stay in your Shavasana position or you can join me for a seated position as we move on to some mantras just to help change some of that positive speak about ourselves. So if you're staying here, just stay. And if you're moving to sit with me, just roll to one side and press yourself up, moving nice and slow here. Although Shavasana might be a better choice, especially if you're doing this practice in the evening. All right, so a mantra, three phrases. We'll actually repeat each one four times. Four times for the positive feelings in our heart. So repeat after me, either out loud or in your head, whatever works for you today. 
I feel beautiful. I am beautiful. I am proud of myself. I accept myself for who I am. I feel beautiful. I am beautiful. I am proud of myself. I accept myself for who I am. I feel beautiful. I am beautiful. I am proud of myself. I accept myself for who I am. I feel beautiful. I am beautiful. I am proud of myself. I accept myself for who I am. Just take in those words for a moment. Being kind to yourself. It is my honor to share this practice with you today on day five of our challenge. Of course, if you're ready, you can move on to your journal prompt now and take that time. And just knowing that all the time that you spend with yourself, on yourself, is an act of self-love. And be sure to join us tomorrow for day six, where we have a little more fun and we focus on expressing ourselves with peace, love, and gratitude. Namaste.